A lot of athletes fancy themselves musicians, but only baseball boasts a growing number of dedicated tribute bands, including an all-star grindcore act and a pop-punk band named after Dance and Homer's favorite team. We are living in an era of unparalleled musical baseball gifts. Sure, basketball has the courtside star power and football is football. Oh shit, son. But there is no other sport where if you were so weirdly inclined, you could listen to only music about that sport. And I wanna get highlights, like the Isotopes are a Canadian punk band whose songs detail the crucial minutiae of things like the infield fly rule and the loneliness of players defecting from Cuba. Important lesson for the kids, you know? Well, um, we got some, uh, got some newer songs in the works. Columbus, Ohio has slugging percentage, a two-piece who start their shows with one of their moms playing the national anthem on the flute. and who get kids to run in a mosh pit around them on a base path that they bring to every show. Plus, they have their own umpire. To umpire the game tonight, we have... <laughs> Which brings us to my personal favorite, the Pig Destroyer referencing tribute to the Los Angeles Dodgers breakout star Yasel Puig, Puig Destroyer. <laughs> Featuring members of Thrice and Curl Up and Die, Puig Destroyer celebrate baseball fights and ask that you stop fucking bunting over 220 BPM blast beats. Plus they made it on ESPN. So legit. With the merchandising and attendance frenzy that he's created in Los Angeles, or with a metal band named after him with a single called One Man, Five Tools. But you don't have to stop with bands that are named after baseball players. You can listen to baseball players who are named after baseball players sing about being baseball players because they are those baseball players. Neon Dion Sanders released his only album, Primetime, in 1994. Must Be The Money never actually charted, and the album never actually charted, and even though he was managed by MC Hammer, Sanders' career quickly oh. flatlined, which is the opposite of Bernie Williams, who followed up a four-time World Series winning career with the Yankees with two wonderful and tasteful albums of classical jazz guitar, and he also was nominated for a Latin Grammy. Former Red Sox pitcher Bronson Arroyo released an album of covers called Covering the Bases, which included the Fenway Victory anthem Dirty Water, including contributions from Johnny Damon, Kevin Euclid, and Kevin Millar. And Damon and Arroyo also added vocals to the Dropkick Murphys cover of Tessie, the other Fenway Victory anthem, because the Red Sox love a good Victory anthem. They also use Three Dog Night. They have three Victory anthems. Tessie is a maiden with a sparkling eye. And if you prefer your baseball songs a little bit on the creamier side, Mike Studd used to be a relief pitcher at Duke before Tommy John surgery sidelined his baseball aspirations. Now, he raps about relief pitching and women. And she said, boy, I know your game. All you want is just sex. Told her you can get the step and I got girlies on deck. All of this is ignoring the non-baseball themed musical projects of players like Jose Reyes and Scott Radinsky and Omar Vizquel. Actually, we won't ignore Omar Vizquel. This is him covering the Goo Goo Dolls. Broadway is dark tonight. A little bit weaker than you used to be. Got a favorite baseball band or a baseball song or baseball snack or whatever? Let us know in the comments. And please subscribe for more This Exists every week. And also, listen to your friends in Puig Destroyer and stop fucking bunting.